Fantron here. Um, yeah, sorry, I had to like adjust my headset. Anyway, we are going to be playing an awesome game. I didn't mean to put my mouse in front of there, my bad. Uh, hopefully you could see everything, I'm not even entirely sure. But anyway, to take place of what we were attempting to do the other day, uh, when I was trying to record or uh, stream Legacy of Goku 2, we're going to go ahead and do a Let's Play of it instead so it can just go straight to YouTube. 16 years from the present day. By the way, I won't be reading too much of this stuff. I think I'll be reading just this. Two androids with strength beyond comprehension appeared from out of nowhere. One by one, the heroes of Earth were destroyed. It is the beginning of a new era on Earth. And dark. And an era of darkness. Oh god, it's freaking hot in here. Uh, no pun intended on what I'm doing, but god, it's fucking hot. Um, Trunks and Gohan are the last surviving descendants of a powerful alien race of warriors called the Sands. They may be the last hope for Earth. Anyway, if you think I'm moving too fast and you want to keep up with the story, if you've never, if you don't even know what's happening right now, then by all means, uh, go ahead and pause the video and read the everything that's been written. But I won't be reading it because there's a lot of text in here. There's no voice acting whatsoever, and as you should know, I'm going to be skipping, you know, going through a lot of it and giving you a synopsis of what's going on. Anyway, but this takes place at the, at the, uh, the beginning of the Cell Saga, more or less, and that one, like, movie spin-off thing of, uh, Pat Trunks' past, uh, where Little Trunks here is, you know, Little Trunks and fucking Gohan are the last two Saiyans around. But anyway, ow. It's not like we need anything out of there. Yep, and Gohan's lost his arm. That's not gonna be happening. You're not going anywhere, little dude. Now, I do recommend that if you've never watched Dragon Ball Z, at all, then I duly suggest that you do watch it. Watch every, watch every movie, watch every, you know, all that stuff. Watch the cartoon, the anime, I mean. And, uh, yeah. Because, I mean, this pretty much gives a too-long-did-not-listen version of it, which is actually pretty cool. He got biffed up. Present day Earth. Um, Gohan, son of Goku, becomes impatient while waiting for his father to return home from defeating in the evil tyrant Frieza. Which, if you've seen the uh, Legacy of Goku one race, that's pretty much it. Was pretty much that let's play. Uh, but in this, I'll be more in depth with tips and certain things that you should do instead of just showing you, because I'm not really competing for a time. But I do want to complete this as quickly as I can. And I'll be doing this by certain segments, so... I know exactly where I'm going to stop, and then we'll call it good. Alright, journal updated. You can access the journal by pressing start, and then pressing the L button. A log of your current and completed quest will be kept there. So let's do what they say. And there, find math book. So let's go find it. It'll be up in here. I don't know whose fucking room this is. And with a hit object, you just press A. Uh, 
differences from Legacy of Goku 1 on the Legacy of Goku 2, you can actually run. Uh, if you can tell, the meter looks different. It's, you, we don't replenish our fucking energy just by chilling around. Our uh, key or whatever. We don't replenish that by just walking around, unfortunately. We have to actually pick up items for that. So, in a way, that makes it harder. But our levels... Well, Gohan's level is level 1. Uh, some characters' levels will be pretty fucking high. Uh, the save point's right here. And it'll save our progress. And as a matter of fact, I don't even think I'll be using save states. But to uh, go ahead and... get some stuff knocked out of the way early. Get the capsule. You can find a strength, endurance, or power capsule. You can use it with your items menu by pressing A. Using a capsule will permanently raise the stats of the character you are playing. Uh, and if you know how this is pretty much the Cell Saga, and, and you know, how the Cell Saga is going to end, there's going to be one character that I'm only going to be using these on. So, that's uh, just going to be more important than anything. Anyway, you can destroy pretty much any object. Uh, squirrels, we used, we used to be able to attack, attack squirrels, and double tapping the D-pad, by the way, is a high you sprint. And the level doors are pretty much, if you are level 1, you can get through it. But that one has a level 2, and we can't break through it. So we need to be level 2. And we're pretty close to being level 2. Alright, anyway, boss fight with Frieza. Quote, unquote, Frieza. Anyway, now, I do think that the combat system in this game is easy. Uh, and I think it's just because if you get them in a... If you can get a certain rhythm with it... Like, when you hit them, and they, you know that they're gonna move backwards. The thing is, if they, you, if they get too... Not too far... Then they're gonna hit you. Immediately. On top of that, being a certain level does help when certain boss fights. Once you level up, you get all of your stuff back, and then you get increased attributes and stuff like that. So leveling up is extremely beneficial, and it's actually pretty important in this game, and you do need to level up. You need to be at a certain level to uh, get through certain obstacles in your path. But uh, pretty much everybody's going to be meeting up to go see what the hell's going on. But uh, apparently Frieza has touched down and came back. And that's no good. So we need... Oh yeah, the window's not open, so I should just probably ignore my mom. Because we just need to ignore her. Now that we're level 2, we can go ahead and go towards the next part here. Now that grinding will actually take some time, uh, what I'm going to try and do is cut where I'm grinding, and I will let you guys know. But it'll be in a, it'll be in an area that we we're most familiar with, that we are familiar with, and I actually go through it. You'll actually see everything that I can possibly do in the game, uh, such as specific tasks. But uh. For instance, all right, let's go ahead and fuck you. Ow! Basically, hitting rocks. You can pretty much pick up items right off the bat. You don't have to uh, pick them up. You just walk up to them. Beating every enemy in your path is actually the smartest thing to do, because you want to be at a certain level, because there will be certain enemies that will gang up on you like that, and just beat the living shit out of you, and you'll lose so much health quickly, and it's because when you get hit, you flinch, so, and when you flinch, you could be flinching into another enemy's attack, so just, you know, do the math there, it's not, it's not gonna be fun. Alright, we can't go through that door, but that... That Namekian over there will be part of a side quest that we'll go ahead and attempt later. 
Only Goku is allowed to pass through this barrier, but that's a question mark, and we don't know what level it'll be. So a lot of these things we'll have to come back and check out later. And there's one big major side quest at the end that we're going to have to do. Anyway, I do recommend getting to at least uh, level 5 before you continue. So, if I do have to grind, then I will. Um, save point. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to go ahead and grind a little bit, and it's not going to take very much time, so let's go ahead and go do that. But anyway, like I said, grinding is extremely important. Um, and they, they will give you enough enemies on a set path. Just when you enter a screen and you accidentally back out, just go fight all the enemies on that screen, and then go back to the other screen and do it again. There are some. There are going to be some doors that you won't be able to get through, and on top of that, there will be some enemies that you will take forever to fucking kill, and some bosses that will take forever to kill if you're not at a certain level. But being uh, being high in you know your stats. very important. Can't go over there quite yet. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to need Goku to do it anyway. What the fuck? I don't know if I'm on Four? Okay, we have one more. Oh shit, I should've got all the enemies on that screen first. Now, uh, if you die, you start off back at the save, save, at the save point that you were at before. Now that, right there, should let you know how severe it is to uh, not die, keep your health up, keep certain enemies at a distance, and then also, you know, level up when you get close to leveling up. But killing enemies at a distance is actually probably really smart. No, there isn't. Not on that part of the screen, anyway. We gotta go up. Alright. Oh, those damn things are annoying. I mean, it's not taking as much to kill them, so... Like I said, being level 5 is actually a smart idea. And once you get up to a certain level, make sure you save, so you don't have to fucking do it all over again. But anyway, this Dragon Ball Z, though, guys. Alright. Wait, what did he say? Never mind. You get to see the previous cast of uh, people. Okay.
Anyway, what we're about to witness here is, uh, Trunks going Super Saiyan, and pretty much fucking killing everyone. Damn. And I love how the music is just like how it was in the anime. And he easily kills Frieza. <laughs> it took Goku, what, how many fucking episodes? And fucking Trunks did it in one. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure, like, that's how it was in the show. He did it in, like, one episode. It was fucking hilarious. Okay, now that we're gonna go follow him, well, let's see what everybody else has, has to say. I mean, they're pretty much all telling us the same shit. But I'm. Hey, fuck it. What do we got? Goku? Blah, 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 blah. He's no Super Saiyan, really, Vegeta? But anyway, I will see you guys in the next part where we continue on with the story.